here is the Pilo uh, P726E Sensio and uh, it's 7.26 meters and this has got the media pack, comfort pack, energy pack and total price here is 62889 and equipment it's got included double airbag, speed regulator, ESP, LED, running lights, 140 brake horsepower engine is extra um, extras on white furniture, alloys and imitation leather upholstery okay so quite a few extras there and this one is the French bed layout so let's have a look shall we have a look at the outside okay got a locker there with your electric points there okay sliding window on the side nice alloys yeah This comes with the GB edition pack. Electric step, or is it? Yeah, it will be electric step in it because you can't pull it out. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. It's always a lot quieter when you get inside the vans, isn't it? Yeah. You've got quite a long sort of area there. You can sit down. That's very nice. Folding table. the seats ah, da, da, da. don't recognize the make of the thing there but it looks like it's got dab navigation bluetooth io media never heard of it uh, there's a drop down bed above me we just sit over here oh it's good to sit down. Yeah. yeah so getting about what 11 o'clock ish now yeah so it's getting a bit crowded but this is a nice area of calm in here. Mm. It's got two travel seats, and you've also got a you've got a rear one facing travel next seat next to a window, which is nice. Yeah, which is better, that. isn't it, than that other one? So that comes out, that so, bit there. So you can remove the cushion there. Uh, yeah. So you can carry five people. Five people, yeah. This is a no, there's not a travel yeah. seat there. Yeah, so you've got, it's, it's unusual, isn't it? Because you've got tra travel seats facing each other. So you've got three yeah. travel seats. I assume that this would make up to another bed, but I don't know. And that's your drop down bed there, which is it's fairly well hidden, it's, isn't yeah, it, really? It's quite nice. Yeah. This kitchen's good, that's for the workspace. Mm. You've got burners in a line. Oh, I like that. Because it always seems to save space, doesn't it? Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Nice and big. Yeah. Uh, set for duplex oven. Oh. Uh, there's plenty of space in the lockers there. Let's have a look at the sink. Yeah, it's a sink. Nice it's round sink. sink. Yeah. yeah. I recognise this. And this is the fridge freezer that we had on our previous van. Yep. Which is a good, good nice. fridge freezer. Yeah. It's a good size. Yep. It's, it's wide. There's no slimline business going on. And it's, I think it's the automatic one, isn't it? Instead of looking quickly. Yes, yep. there's an A. It's an automatic. Cupboard there. Massive cupboard. And your satellite gubbins in there, couldn't you? Yep. The bed controls are up there, Truma blown air. Somewhere to hang your upholstery samples. That's right, it's in favour and all those different, different things. Stuff. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so a French bed, which is a bit of a surprise. Seem to see that many French beds these days. I don't know why. That's not looking at them. But this looks a good wide area. It is, it is a bit of a clamber in, I think, because you've got sort of walls on both sides. 
but it's not too high. It's only at knee height, isn't it? So it's easy to get in there. Got corner space. You've got speakers at the back. Nicely placed speakers on either side. One there, one there. Any switches there. I can't see any USBs at the moment at the back. Got a slide in thing here. Got a catch up there to undo. I'm going to shut you off. I think this makes it's a double one. Why it's a yeah, double. it's a double one. How would you, you would shut these people off at the front here? From, from the, the bathroom. The bathroom yeah. Very stylish um, catches here. Look at that. That's a great big tall hanging space. And you've got drawers below. Very, it's quite difficult to open one handed, that is. Yeah, I found that this was quite steep, but it's very firm and it yeah. closes. Yeah. And into the washroom. Look at the shower first. It's an oblong space. Quite tall. I don't think seven footers would have a problem showering in here. Stylish, I would say that is. Yeah. It's got the bifold doors. Toilets there. This area here is a little bit cramped, but then you're not going to be standing here for long. A good, good size square sink. Nice big mirror. No, it's not bad, not bad. They're using the whole width of the van there, aren't they? It's good use of space, I think. Where you put your wine? A lot of things seem to be included. <laughs> this, uh, what what makes manufacturers think that wine and motorhomers go together? Who knows? <laughs> it's got a little magnetic catch there to keep it up so you don't, yeah. don't forget where your wine is. Yeah, but nice little van. Yeah. It's true heating, isn't it? It's well, say little van, it's seven, seven metres two. two. So, this is yeah, so it's true heating. You've got a touch panel there, yeah, yeah, that's quite a nice, stylish panel, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, good, I like that. This bee is in the, in the kitchen there, that's quite handy. And a, a 12 yeah. volt, 12 volt socket, yeah, yeah and a 240 volt socket. So I suppose you can put your phones over you the top. You'd be safe for doing that. Yeah, you'd yeah. be sitting here charging your phone up, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. No, it's good. Yeah. Okay. So I better give a a shout out for Big Nose who asked for. Thirteen. Don't forget. 13, yeah, Big Nose Thirteen. This is your garage. <laughs> that's the shape of the bed, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's the shape. That's good. Yeah. That's good because you can lift the bed up as well. And you can get in there, or you can get in here. here. You've got tie downs as well. Look at that. That's good. Yeah. Very thoughtful. And you've got a vent. And a blown air heating in here, so there's no reason this should get cold in here. Which is often the problem when you've got a bed above a garage. Yeah. You get cold in there. <coughs> Looks like there's a reversing camera on the back there. Toilets on this side. It's quite a range, isn't it? That's the, the whole range. So there's yeah, a fair the, the, few in this. Yeah, there's a fair few Pacific in the Pacific range, range aren't there? Yeah, I think possibly one. The symbol. So this is the auto sleeper symbol. 5.4 meters. And it's got 165 brake horsepower engine, uh, 3,300. It's license friendly, 450 kilos payload, and this is with the winter pack and the premium pack, 59,595. 55 brake horsepower engine, standard. <laughs> Smell it. <laughs> I might have to do this this van in stages, but. Uh, a rear a table at the back, you've got the fridge at the back. Yeah. Right. Well, you 
cushions going. <laughs> so what you've got in here is obviously the driver and passenger seat, nice little table there. You've got a seat here which makes into part of the bed. You've got places for your cushions. So I think what happens with this, if I remember, is that this pulls out, that stretches over to over, over there and you, you add all the cushions. Yeah. So there's a bit of cushion shuffling to make up a bed. But this but, layout has been around, hasn't it, when, when we were first looking for our first van? Yeah. This layout was about... Yeah. This, yeah, this, yeah I mean, it's a 5.4 metre van, this, so you've got to remember that. Yes. So you could have this as your only vehicle. Yeah. You can take passenger here, can't yeah. you? It, yeah, it's a three, three berth, really, isn't it? Well, three seats. Three seats. It's two berth. Two berth. Yeah. But, but it's quite nice just sitting there, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, it's a nice seat, this. Yeah. You'd have the open door there. Comfortable seat. The speakers down on the floor there. I haven't seen that before. Oh. <laughs> it's got a little latch there for moving the seats. Yeah, I've got a bit of footage, haven't I, for moving the bed about. But yeah, if you're looking for a really short van, yeah. it'll fit in most parking spaces. You've got space up there. Nice lights there. Auto sleeper lockers, which feel very solid. Ex things like extractor fans are, you know, you've got here. And it's not, it doesn't feel too cramped across here. No, well, considering what you've got here. Yeah. You've got a cooker, haven't you? Got yeah. Seat. I couldn't lift this up before. <laughs> That's the sink. sink. And it's yeah. a good size sink with a built in drainer. Very nice. Right, 240 volt socket up there. You've got a reasonable microwave. Yeah. 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 That's the thing for 56,000. Is that a microwave size. or is that induction? It looks like induction or something, doesn't it? Don't know what that is. Someone tell me. <laughs> <laughs> But you've also got this nice little fan. Yeah, yeah, an extractor fan as well. And quite a good sized fridge as well. So yeah. Nice touches like your awning winder on the back there. That's your little and wet your, room. And your little wet room here. Yeah, which I think I said is quite a good size. Pull down sink. There. It's always difficult to do this one-handed. Yeah, so. Yeah. You have got everything you need in here. Mm. In a in a very small well, package, no, he no, says, no, banging we, his elbow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, when we were looking, first of all, we wanted a, a short van, didn't we? Yeah. For the drive. Yeah. Um, we did look at this would would have fitted on the drive, yeah, and we yeah. looked at this quite a few times. Yeah. Yeah, I like the little table, that's great. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Very solid, because it's yeah. on this hole here. Yeah. Right, just got back, back at Summers Wood, uh, after our first morning in there, taking a load of video, and I just noticed Poppy and Tara looking out the window, waiting for us. Yeah. So I better go and rescue them. Yeah, yeah, look, where have you been? <laughs> <laughs> 